Welcome to the episode of the Berm Experience, and this is something we've been talking about doing for you know, for a few months now. Well, you've never heard of high bank before from us. Yeah, right. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so. Uh, about a year ago, Nathan came across and gave, got brought over uh, uh, their uh, one of their like little I don't the OHL know, or, Their OHL yeah. cube. I mean, it's, it's, it's a state pick. It's a state pick. Thank you. That's the word I was trying to come up. Yes. Their state pick. And the Oak Father for us was like forget about it, right? We love the Oak Father. And um, then we took a tour, and I got a hold of one of their last ball uh, bottles of uh, honey. Right. And so we were talking, oh, that'd be kind of cool to do a comparison because right. we absolutely love these bottles. Yeah. Does not have any honey in it, just so that you know. It does not. But that's it just tastes kind of like flavor profile. Definitely has this, you know. So I, I prefer the, the, the sauce. I'm not I'm not Okay, so anyway. We know. We we, <laughs> we, we know. Oh, did I make so, that point before? Do you ever consider that you might not be as charming as you think you are? <laughs> no. We don't. The last show, the show before, the show before that, the show before that. There's a glitch in the matrix, people. Um, so, um, let me out. So, we had, uh, what, I, what we did was we had, um, my wife came in, poured the, uh, poured the glasses, we put stickers on them. There's stickers on the bottom of this and we're going to do this blind to find out which one we like the best. We're not going to try to figure out, okay, it's this one or that one, but we want to figure out which yeah. one do we like better? Because there's that little argument going on within us: is the Oak Father or the Honey better? Mm -hmm. And that so uh, yeah. I don't even know if I don't. You know, I the last one I had was the Taste of the Honey a long yeah. time ago when I was here. It's been a while since I opened up this bottle. Yeah, because because uh, you won't let any of us touch I it. Am. You damn right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm hoping your lightest pour is this one. <laughs> really, what we were trying to do is this is a this is a, a a negotiation between Nathan and I because everyone loves the honey, everyone loves the oak father. It was like, okay, well then we'll share it, and then Dad just he's a benefactor of the both. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, and lets me know it all the time. day long. It is not insufferable. Yeah. At all? At all. No, wait, I didn't say one thing about it yesterday. Not one thing, all day long. So, yeah, my cell phone did not ring at all yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're going to do uh, is we've got stickers for each one. We don't know which. Let's do the heart one, the heart the sticker. Heart. Okay. We have a heart sticker and a red sticker. So that's the red sticker. That's a red sticker. Yeah, there's your heart sticker. So we're gonna have the that's heart the, sticker that's first. A, that's a D sticker. Yeah. We had a bit of a mishap on uh, on our 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 phone battery, for <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> um, what did we ended up picking? So you ended up picking. I ended up picking the honey. I I expected to pick. The uh, Oak Father, yeah, because uh, just mental, uh, yeah, imaging. And, and so, ahead. which one was the, the 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 heart sticker ended up being the honey, and, and the Oak Father was our little red sticker, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And we, we need to talk about that because we kind of came in this like, oh, pre pre you know preconceived pre notions, preconceived notions, right? Okay. Yeah. So hold on, I want I want to come back to that, but what? Yeah. Well, I I went through with the right one, which was the Oak Father. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay. So you know. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah. Anyways, we may have so, to do a fourth one. On yeah, that. we might have to do another video on this. But so anyway, so so you chose the Oak Father, right. and then I thought I was having the Oak Father and chose the Oak Father, but it was Honey that I chose. Yep. And so, uh, which ended up being the same thing that I did. Correct, because you chose the Honey. And because because I had come, gone in with the preconceived notion that I would do anything to get an Oak Father out of this. <laughs> I suppose I'm finished with this guy. <laughs> well, it just shows you how much we love it. We, yeah, we, it, it, yeah. You know. it, it was it, it was up to the up to this point. It was the best we'd had. So, but uh, I guess that's what I'm saying is like, here we are. We were blind about it. I was thinking I was drinking the Oak Father, and and, and I'm drinking honey. Right. Well, but I wasn't fooled by that at all. Well, yeah, yeah, because like what what I was getting was there was the sweetness, there was everything that I was getting that I 
would get out of the hunting. I knew that, that this was this was it. And all the leather, all of the dark chocolate that I got out of the Oak Father and the uh, and that nice oakiness at the back end I was getting out of this that I absolutely love. Yes. You know, and I love both of these. <clears throat> But it was one of the things that it was it was interesting because I wasn't. You you were you were taking an intellectual approach. Well, it wasn't that at all. It wasn't it wasn't no? That, no, it was not that at all. I remember specific things about the Oak Father. Okay. Because uh, uh, you yeah. know they, they're, that that would be they, these are these things that you know that that leather and that little bit of that tobacco, but well, that of the. The dark chocolate that comes across toward the end of the palette and the finish are total signatures of the Oak Father. And so when I got that out of this one, I was worried that this might be it because, you know, I was worried about maybe the sweetness, though, mm -hmm. that, that this one that's has. What, I think that's what threw me off. And so when this one didn't have the sweetness, but it finished off with all those things that I really liked, I was just like, nope, I already know. Yeah. And, I, and you know... Being a guy who's not in for the sweeter drinks, I knew my tendencies on that were this bottle. And so I knew, I'm like, yep, that's the Okay, so I think I know what caught me. Uh, going back and having sips of each one is the, the, the ending astringency of, uh, 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 of the honey caught me off guard. Because there is a, a smoothness. I think the honey's more smooth than the Oak Father. The oak, you know, and the astringency at the end of this one threw threw a curveball at me, and, and and so then when I went into this one, I, I already went in a preconceived notion that oh yeah, that's oak father, right? Yeah, see, and I don't get any astringency on, on and towards on the that. end. No, none not, at the not, end. Not, not a see, bit. And I do. And no, but I, I get this kind of nice, almost kind of like a like a tarty tawny. <laughs> Not really, not, yeah. not, but like a like a toffee kind of tart kind of honey, no, not honey, but um, apple kind of thing at the end. Yeah. Um, you know, more more towards that toffee and, and tart kind of thing. Yeah, and so kind of it, it, that that kind of thing played into, you know, yeah. that sweet factor. You know what I think is is, is the biggest difference so far is I listen to what you're saying and I listen to what you're saying. And you went go after the bourbon from an analytical standpoint. It has these characteristics, this this taste, this 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 this, uh, as opposed to uh, to an extent. Well, well, we all we're all covered by emotion. Compared but I mean, to what? Well, compared to what I'm saying. No, I'm I'm, I'm not yeah. even I'm not even saying that. You're doing it any differently. It's it's just that that I, maybe I'm guessing saying that, that he has a very fine tuned palate. I would actually say he's probably got the more defined one than I do. To be I honest. don't know. I, I, because, I, because right yeah. like to, today today to tomorrow, I, right. well I think it varies day to day. But like today I've been on point with the stuff that we've recorded. Like yeah, I knew yeah. that this one was it. I got the the the, the whiskey roulette right, yeah. you know. So it got for whatever reason that is, I have no idea. But um, you know, there there are days. I mean, there there are most of the time you're the one giving more descriptive terms, and sometimes generically that may be caramel vanilla oak. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that one was for you, yeah, dear viewer, dear viewer. No. <laughs> we know. We know it. Oh we, yes. We know what viewer. So some legal relation of ours. <laughs> no, I was actually going to go with uh, uh, with Adam. With Adam. Oh, okay. Because Adam likes. Well, to I know. Give I know me. Robert's. But Robert in their spoof video, he did kind of yeah. like, call that out. But too. Adam likes to give me shit about. Oh, oh. hey, you know, caramel, and you know, yeah. like, yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah. Marzipan, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's nothing better than calling each of you up. No, oh, sure. On. Uh, oh, oh, okay. yeah. So. Yeah. What I guess what I'm what I what what I want to cover is our preconceived notions of going into this, and then being completely thrown a curveball, which is what's good about blind. Mm -hmm. And then we're yeah. just like, holy crap! Like, uh, you know, for me, I was prepared to go after the Oak Father because in my head, 
what I remember of nine months ago of having the oak father, of like how wonderful that was. And I still like honey, but I was ready for oak father to be it. And I, and I, I think it, I think it messed up. Right. How I was ready to approach. Yeah. Now, well, at but, the end of the day, I still picked honey. Right. And I'm not sure I'm wrong in how I feel about my tastes there. No. No, but I mean, and and here's the thing, and, and we were discussing this before we decided to go this this route. Yeah, yeah. So, blinds are different than when you're walking by your your shelf, and you're trying to decide what to pick, right? And if I had an endless supply of both of these, <laughs> <laughs> you better pray to the god of skinny punks. And then happy. I know, right? Because they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> I know. It's here. Um, but if I had had an endless supply of both of these, and I'm looking at which one I would have on a daily basis, I'm going to have honey quite a bit. But I'm going to lean Oak Father more times than not, just on the visual, on what I, what I what 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 I'm anticipating with each taste and what the visual. Yeah. What do you mean the visual? The, 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 true, true. the name. Oh, the label. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. When you're saying the visual, I'm thinking yeah. about how dark each one of them is. Oh, no, no. They're double looks. They're good. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> like, I'm like, goodness gracious, those are dark. Yeah. No, no. It, it, it's it's it, it's all about, you know, in that, in that respect, it's like, you know, like, boy, I have a hankering for a rare breed, so what am I going to reach for? Rare breed. You know, because there's that name recognition, there's the anticipation yeah. of the taste and all that kind of stuff. You know, and, and I can sit there and, and compare it with looking at their on my shelf and seeing all the different things that I've got. You know, and when I get to certain names, those things are going to be more appealing day to day. Sure. Oak Father's going to appeal to me more than Honey on most days. Yeah. You know, and so it doesn't make I... the blind incorrect. It doesn't change necessarily the favorite. Because, you know, like I, I did I did a blind with five. Yeah. And we, we may have the video up, but... <laughs> if I were to get my head on my or, ass. Or, or yeah. we may not. <laughs> you know, and the five that I have on there, my anticipation of that five was completely different than what the reality of the, the finish okay. of the blind was. And I would still not change what I would drink ahead of okay. all the others. Blinds have a value... Uh -huh. Because it challenges your your tasting, it challenges your opinion of things, and you how you look at things. And I think that if if you want to get better in 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 your tastings, mm -hmm. blinds I think have a, a serious value. Right. Well, they don't define you. They don't define. Okay. Well, just because I didn't pick Oak Father, Oak Father is out. Right. right. Anyways, High Bank Distillery, anytime you can get your hands on one of their special uh, releases, uh, it's definitely worth it. I think that I paid uh, 85 to 95 on mine. Yours was 75, 75 or something right, right around there. You're going to pay a little bit more and it's worth it. The drink is one of those drinks that you and I were talking about where you are chewing on it. And, and, and you can sip and chew, and, and, and it doesn't even feel like you have whiskey in your mouth. All right, gang. Well, hey, thanks a lot for tuning in. We appreciate it. Sorry for the little mix-up. Kind of changes things up, but it's probably not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. Who knows? It might change direction anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. That's your finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a jackass. <laughs> it's for all bourbon to <laughs> Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one.